Hello, uh, I'm Beverly Hunt. I'm Medical Director of Thrombosis UK and I'm here to do an update on thrombosis and COVID. And the date is the 8th of June and it's important we remember that date. I don't know when you're going to see this because it might be different uh, a week or a month hence. So just to remind you that uh, if we look at the UK, NHS England in particular is a world leader on preventing thrombosis in hospital. So when you go into hospital, you have a risk assessment and if you're at risk of having uh, a deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism in the hospital, then we would automatically give uh, preventative measures. And we're talking about small doses of blood thinners plus or minus uh, using some mechanical method if, if you're really high risk. And uh, with the COVID pandemic, we have become very aware that patients with COVID who are in hospital, those who are in hospital, this isn't necessarily those who are at home, um, it, those who've got the pneumonia and who need oxygen, have got quite sticky blood. Uh, so we are giving everybody who is in hospital with COVID uh, blood thinners and we might also give them intermittent pneumatic compression. So that's very clear and I think what's come through in the last few months is that some doctors are so worried they're giving a little bit more of the blood thinner than they would previously and uh, if you're very risky and you're actually in critical care and being ventilated the risk of having clots is very high so a lot of those patients are getting quite a lot of blood thinner so i think that everyone is very very aware of this problem with thrombosis and covid if you've already had blood clots and you came to hospital, one of the things we would risk assess you for would be, oh, you've had previous blood clots, so we're going to give you some blood thinners. And that's already happening with COVID. And I, I don't think it's very clear whether those who've had previous blood clots are actually at greater risk of having more blood clots during COVID compared with others who haven't, because the overwhelming problem with COVID is this incredibly sticky blood. And if we looking at some people who've had blood clots before they don't tend to have that sticky blood in the first place so it, it, it it's like normal maybe you've got slightly stickier blood normally and then we've got covid on top and it's this incredible increment in stickiness that uh, is partly responsible for the high rates of clots that we see uh, and then the other thing to say is that if you are on blood thinners and you get COVID, you should carry on with them and just keep taking them uh, in the normal way. In some ways, it's good protection, perhaps. Um, and then if you're at home, you haven't got COVID or you have got COVID, we are anxious that people are at risk of getting deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism because they're slightly more inactive than they would be normally. So we have to encourage you to keep active as ever uh, and to stay well hydrated and take all your usual medicines and do the social distancing as you would normally. Um, in Thrombosis UK, we are trying to keep on top of the increasing information. I think we really are at the moment um, and all the research that's going through uh, and we're running webinars for healthcare professionals. So to keep others up to date and also for patients we've had one uh, and we'd quite like to have another one a couple of months down the line. So I know that uh, the thought of COVID increases lots of anxiety in lots of people uh, but rest assured if you make it to a hospital because you've got COVID pneumonia and it's only a minority of people with COVID who get it, you get COVID day one maybe, and you have a positive test, it's not until maybe day five or day 10 that people get short of breath uh, and, and need to come into hospital. So it's only a minority having this sticky blood problem. That's, I think, very important to let everyone know uh, and put out there. 
So I'm signing off now. Thank you very much for listening and uh, please keep in touch with Thrombosis UK. Bye for now.